welcome back to the Little Way Sunday School. So my best friend Glenn is a fisherman and he owns his own boat and he bought me my first fishing rod and fishing hooks. And one day Rian and I went out fishing with him and we caught loads of mackerel and it was loads of fun. But fishing isn't always easy, especially for experienced fishermen. Sometimes they could be out all night and catch nothing. Sometimes the weather can make it really difficult and hard. And even if you have the best boats and technology, your boat could still sink in a storm. So in today's gospel, we hear about fishermen, four fishermen, Simon, Andrew, James, and John. And Jesus comes to these fishermen and he says to them, follow me and I will make you into fishers of men. These four fishermen left everything in order to follow Jesus. And because of this, they were able to be part of Jesus' ministry and catch many souls for Christ. Follow me. Fish are nothing. You have much bigger things ahead of you, Simon, son of Jonah. From now on, I will make you fishers of men. And you are to gather as many as possible, all kinds. I will sort them out later. But it wasn't always easy. These same fishermen suffered greatly for their faith. But I think we can learn a lot from them. They weren't rabbis or, or priests, but ordinary, hard-working men who God used in order to fulfill his plan. Padre's Corner. Our priest this week is Father Conor McGrath from the parish of Glyn Ravel in County Antrim. Father Conor is originally from Glyn Gormley and enjoys singing and cycling. Thank you for joining us this week, Father Conor. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. After John had been arrested, Jesus went into Galilee. There he proclaimed the good news from God. The time has come, he said, and the kingdom of God is close at hand. Repent and believe the good news. As he was walking along by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net in the lake, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you into fishers of men. And at once they left their nets and followed him. Going on a little further, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in their boats, mending their nets. He called them at once, and leaving their father Zebedee in the boat with the men he employed, they went after him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hello everybody. We know that our parents love us so much and we love them so much in return. But that doesn't mean that sometimes we don't get a little annoyed with our parents or a little grumpy. For instance, if they tell us, don't take that extra sweet, that extra chocolate bar. We were just about to grab it and then we get grumpy because we're not allowed it. Or they might say, you spend too much time on the computer, but you really need to finish that game, or you think you really need to finish that game. And so you get a bit grumpy and annoyed. But we know the big picture. We know that our parents are only asking us to do this because they know what is best for us. 
They know the big picture. They know if we eat too many sweets, we become unhealthy, our teeth might fall out. They know if we spend too much time on the computer, that we aren't spending enough time with our family, with our friends, that we aren't learning all the wonderful things that we should learn so that we can be good, happy and holy people. They know what is best for us and they know what we need to change in our lives. God loves us so much and he knows that sometimes we do things that aren't good for us. Sometimes we do things that aren't healthy and don't make us grow. And so that's why at the start of the gospel today, Jesus says, repent and believe the good news. Repent means let us stop doing that thing that makes us sad, that makes us unhappy, and let us turn back to God so that we can receive all his love, so that we can be the children of God that he knows we are. So maybe today we can think about those small things that take us away from God or take us away from other people. And we can, like Simon and Andrew, like James and John, listen out for the invitation of Jesus and follow him. Because we're absolutely sure that when we follow him, we are happy and holy people. Amen. Mission time! So in the gospel this week, we hear how the fishermen immediately stop what they're doing and follow Jesus. And that is because they recognize that Jesus was good, that what he was offering was good. And so your mission this week is to think about all the ways that God has been good to you in your life, the ways that he has blessed you and helped you. And when you call to mind the ways that God has been good to you, remind yourself, this is why you follow Jesus, because he is good. Thanks for watching everyone. Our worksheet is in the description box below. We'll see you next week. God bless. Bye. Fishers of men, huh?